Hello, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another session of Zoom in on the Halal Metropolis, uh, where we talk to different members of the Muslim community and uh, just check in with them and see how they're doing amidst all of this uh, stay at home order, uh, amidst the coronavirus um, uh, pandemic that's going on right now. Uh, here with me right now, I have Munir Hanifa. Um, he is a community activist and a leader in the Masjid Wali Muhammad community. He's also one of the assistant imams um, at, the, uh, at the Masjid Wali Muhammad community as well. Uh, welcome, uh, Munir. How are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing okay. Like Alhamdulillah, I can't complain too much. Yeah, I wanted to check in on the community, uh, but before I get into that, just want to see how you're doing and uh, how your family's holding up. Alhamdulillah, we're, we're doing okay. <clears throat> you know, um, we're both at, me and my wife are both at home with the children. Uh, so that's a kind of interesting thing. Uh, we're getting used to this video conferencing, uh, assisting their teachers with their schooling and things like that. So that's kind of our new full-time normal. Uh, it's kind of like teacher's aides, teacher's assistants uh, throughout the day and then just trying to entertain them and keep ourselves, uh, you know, kind of entertained. Um, but Alhamdulillah, um, Allah is merciful. Um, we get to spend a little bit more time together as the family, uh, you know, but, you know, there are, you know, uh, you know, the struggles of uh, the uh, the lesser pay coming in and things like that, uh, since both of us aren't working. Um, but a lot, like I said, is merciful. We haven't missed a, a, a beat or anything yet. So alhamdulillah, so we're good. Inshallah, yeah, hang in there, man. Um, it's, uh, you know, one of the big things that's on a lot of people's minds is, you know, how are, how are these communities adjusting? And, uh, you know, um, in, in terms of Masjid Wali Muhammad, um, you know, how has it uh, affected the community and, and how are you guys adjusting to the new reality? Well, we're doing a lot more of these um, Zoom and uh, conference call meetings. So uh, I know the imam and the, uh, the board and administration they're meeting either uh, via uh, conference call or Zoom meetings, uh, you know, at least once a week, just to keep tabs on how the community is doing and to make sure that the needs of the physical entity of the, you know, mass in itself is being taken care of. Um, then for, you know, the Juma Fridays, uh, we're, you know, we, we do our either a Zoom or a Facebook Live, uh, like we put but we've always done it, uh, even, you know, at the mosque itself. Uh, we always broadcast over Facebook, uh, at least the last three years, uh, at least. Uh, but now, you know, uh, we're doing the Zoom as well to make sure we can tie in some of the elders who don't have the technology because they're able to call in and listen to the message um, as well. Um, so we're also making sure that the community is in contact so at least periodically, everyone's kind of checking in on some of the, you know, the, the elders and things like that, um, just so that we know if someone's in need, we can respond quickly. Mm. Yeah. Well, so. And uh, I know that you guys, um, because you're part of such a historic community, um, mm -hmm. you know, I know your wife was part of an initiative to sort of get a lot of the uh, history and archives, you know, collected and get things online and trying to organize some of the artifacts of the community to sort of move online. So you guys were kind of working on some of those things um, uh, already, you know, so. Yes, so definitely working on, um, uh, working on that. We haven't, uh, as far as like some of the artifacts, uh, the attention hasn't been there, of course, like it, you know, like we want it. Um, but um, right now, I think the most important thing is just making sure that someone stopping by the mosque, checking in on the, you know, on everything and uh, yeah. making sure everything is um, safe and secure. Yeah, you know, and, and another thing is, you know, with Ramadan starting next week, mm -hmm. uh, I know that you guys, like all mosques in the area, probably had big plans, you know, for this year and, and, and regularly scheduled programming. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, how is that being affected and how are you guys adjusting to that? So there is adjustment. So two things. Uh, I know the imam uh, was working on a schedule. We like to do what we call our Ramadan sessions, where we have special uh, guests fly in uh, for a Juma talk. And then a lot of times they'll do a Saturday uh, event and, a, and or a Sunday event. And then we'll also have local um, 
uh, special guests come in and address the community on different topics and things like that. Um, so that hasn't changed outside of there won't be any travel, of course. Um, but uh, we are, um, I know uh, Imam Tawheed is working on a few uh, a, a schedule and just putting everything in place. So uh, you check the, uh, the Wally Muhammad Facebook page, inshallah, inshallah, next couple of days, within the next week, you'll see uh, the calendar come out. Um, but he has uh, some dynamic speakers uh, that you can tune in to on the Facebook Live or either the Zoom. Uh, we haven't worked out that, uh, the technical aspect of it yet. Um, so there'll be some people uh, that, you know, some of, some of the people in the local Detroit metro area haven't heard of, but they're very knowledgeable uh, dynamic speakers. Some of them that you have heard of. Um, like one of my favorites, uh, which which will be a new one uh, to a lot of people in the area, will be a uh, so imam from uh, Florida. His name is Dr. Nasser Ahmed. He's a uh, he's a medical doctor, or um, I believe he's a medical doctor and imam. And like just his approach to the religion is very uh, scientific and uh, very energetic. And uh, you know he has a lot of knowledge and a lot of uh, um, insight to, to share. So uh, definitely uh, keep a lookout for that. Um, it, it'll be a lot of, uh, of content for the National Muhammad uh, for Ramadan. Yeah, please, please share any of those links with us. We're happy to, you know, include them in, in the description of this video. And, uh -huh. and uh, you know, what that's, I mean, that's really amazing. I mean, it's like this situation is sort of making us all uh, adjust a little bit, yes. you know, in a lot of ways, but then it's also giving access to our communities, you know, to people that probably wouldn't have, you know, mm -hmm. uh, not only in the region, but maybe around the country. So now people will be able to see these videos and these recordings that, you know, maybe wouldn't have been able to see them or wouldn't have known about the community, uh, but will now know about them. Yes. A, you know, it's, you know, there is some, some trials and what we're going through, but there are some, um, some blessings. Uh, so we just have to make sure we don't um, we stay positive and don't shut our sails off to the blessings and inshallah that's what we're doing. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think it's it's one of these uh, trials that will give us a lot to reflect on, you know, mm -hmm. uh, 5, 10, 20, 30 years from now. Uh, it's such a historic moment that has affected, I mean, everybody around the world. And so it's something that, you know, we're living through right now that you know we'll be talking about for generations after oh yes yeah, so, definitely yeah definitely. but th you're right i mean absolutely there's always a silver lining you know there's always blessings there's always uh you know things to learn from in these situations you know we we, we always grow from these types of experiences you know so um yeah so oh, yeah yeah th it's so Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, you know, I really appreciate, you know, everything that you do, um, you know, yeah. uh, you know, in the community and, uh, you know, I, I know sort of trying to update things and uh, trying to, you know, basically get the word out there about the community. And, and hopefully this is one of those, you know, opportunities because we are at home that you guys will be able yes. to get your own history out there uh, to where people don't know about it, you know. Inshallah. We'll, we'll, um... There, there are some opportunities for that, and inshallah, I will, you know, um, discuss some more of those. Right now, we are kind of focused because Ramadan is coming up so quick. Um, is yeah. uh, focusing in on that, and then also, I don't know if you've seen the um, post in regards to uh, tomorrow. We'll be handing out some food boxes. Uh, we'll be at Mashallah Muhammad. Um, we're expecting the food box to get there around twelve, twelve thirty. We like people to be there around the same time so we can quickly distribute them. Uh, but they'll be similar to the boxes that we give, you know, that we give out, everyone gives out uh, for the Eid um, holidays. Um, we just want to make sure that we're doing it quickly and safely. Uh, you know, everyone will have a uh, personal protection equipment. Um, but what we're uh, really asking people is to have their vehicles ready. Those who will be, um, driving up to pick them up because you just want to set them in your trunk. Uh, we've been asked uh, or been advised not to sit any, you know, boxes in anybody's front or back seat uh, just to help um, 
stop the spread of the uh, virus or to cut that, you know, to mitigate that uh, situation. So um, mm-hmm. just uh, we, we're, we're trying to assist the community, those in need. Uh, so if you know anybody or if you are yourself in need, please come out. Um, we're trying to do our part to assist. And I think all of us uh, in the Muslim community should be doing that. Even if you are, uh, this is a good time to give just in general uh, to your mosque or to charities, different things like that. If money is tight, give a little. If money's not tight, give a lot. So whatever you can afford, I think we all should be in the spirit of giving, uh, you know, in con- considering what's going on right now. And, and is the food distribution a weekly thing or is it, just, is it like you guys will kind of see how things happen in the next couple of weeks? Well, this is, uh, this is in collaboration with um, uh, it, Big Boys and some, and a, there's a, a brother, I can't think of his name. I hate to not, uh, give me one second. Sure. Um, I just want to get his name. Uh, Dr. Saeed uh, Danish. Okay. Um, so so they so so they're donating boxes to be distributed. Okay. So uh, we're partnering up with them. Uh, okay. So alhamdulillah, may Allah uh, reward them uh, for this effort. Uh, we're just doing a providing a venue and a in the physical labor uh, mm. to distribute. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much, Manir, for everything that you do, and you know, good luck to you and your community. Uh, inshallah, we'll get through this. We'll be stronger on the other side. And, uh, you know, hopefully when everything opens back up, you know, I'll be back at the masjid and, and be able to see you guys in person. It's always a pleasure to have you there. Thank you, Raji. <laughs> uh, great to see you, Manir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah.